So I've had a lot of requests asking me how to install Magisk on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. Now some people will compare Magisk to something like Exposed Framework where you can install modules that are specifically made for Magisk that will change the way your device functions. You can have modules that add certain functionality to your phone and can even take away certain functionalities as well. A key feature of Magisk though is that you can mount and unmount aka install and uninstall these modifications very easily and that makes it a lot easier for whenever you want to do an over-the-air update. Since these modules make changes to the system partition and the core Android operating system, being able to unmount these modules easily so that you can update your device and then re-enable those modules after the device is updated is very convenient. So in order to install Magisk, you're going to need to have things like the bootloader unlocked. You'll want to have root access to your device, which should be done in a systemless manner. Magisk currently supports either the modified version of PHH's super user or the official SuperSU systemless root method. Whenever you install Magisk, if it detects that you are, if you have a different root method installed, then it will automatically root your device with the included open source PHH root method. And if that happens, then you'll want to download the PHH Root Manager application from the Play Store. So just if you have SuperSU installed in a non-systemless manner and you install Magisk Manager in Magisk, whenever you reboot the device and you see SuperSU is gone, then you'll just want to replace the SuperSU companion application with the PHH Root Manager companion app. So to start we just need to download the Magisk Manager from the Play Store. Once that has been installed we'll just want to launch the application, grant it root access, granted access to our storage and then we're told that there is no Magisk installed and it asks us if we want to download and, and install it which of course we do so we go we tap the download go to the install section so right here we have a boot image location drop down which only has one option here so we'll just keep it like that if there's nothing there you can tap that detect button and it should detect the boot image location and you have some options here to keep force encryption if you wanted to and you have the option to keep DM Verity I'm going to skip those and just tap on the Magisk button at the bottom and asks us if we want to install Magisk, which this 10.2 is the latest version as of doing this video. So we'll just tap on the download and install button. Installation is successful. We can reboot now. So just tap the reboot button. Now if something goes wrong with this 
installation method as I've shown here the developer recommends that you restore from a Nandroid backup or basically just restore from restore back your boot image to stock since the Majisk makes some modifications to the boot image you'll need to restore that kernel to the stock one then it asks that you download the latest Majisk zip file which I will have a link to in the full tutorial and that full tutorial will be linked in the description below this video and then again it just reminds you to make sure that you have the systemless mode of SuperSU and then to flash the Majisk zip file in TWRP so now that we have rebooted we still have our Majisk manager application right here we're just going to tap it to load up now we get told that Majisk 10.2 is installed and we have SuperSU version 2.79 installed so we're properly rooted and if you want you can tap to start a safety net check but that shouldn't man that shouldn't matter unless you actually want to use Android pay or something that requires safety net to be passed this can be fixed by installing a custom kernel So from here we have our module section. You just tap on the plus icon and then tap on the flash module zip option. And it will bring up a file explorer that asks you which module you want to install. And you can install that that way. Here is a download section, which again, this is very similar to exposed framework. And just like installing exposed modules, you should definitely, definitely create a Nandroid backup before you install, before you download and install any of these modules. because some of these might be making changes that is not compatible with your device so just be aware of that I will cover how to download and install modules in a future tutorial and I'm also going to talk about which which Majisk modules are currently compatible with the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T that is currently running um, Oxygen OS 4.0.2 which is their latest Nougat build as of doing this tutorial so again feel free to experiment with a lot of these you should know that Exposed is not available for Android Nougat right now so don't try to install these but feel free to experiment with these but again make sure you have a new Nandroid backup so that you can restore your device in case you run into a boot loop so there you have it that is how to install Majisk on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T.